Hey guys, Ricky here with the Backpacking Scouter. Uh, starting to pack up our stuff and get ready uh, to head out on the Colorado Trail here in a few days. Uh, and thought I would take some time here to kind of just share you guys uh, what I'm carrying uh, to include Willa here, uh, my amazing English Springer Spaniel, uh, who's going to be going out for the first six days of the trip with us uh, to get out on the, on the trail there. She's only a year old, so we really don't want to take her for the whole trip. Uh, but we're going to definitely take her for the first week and see how she does. So she's definitely one of the things that we're carrying. Um, but no, I just thought I'd take some time here uh, and share with you guys uh, some of the gear that I'm going to be taking out uh, and let you see kind of what we're doing for our, our little through hike that we're doing here. Um, so for me, a uh, little bit older, of course, than my 18-year-old son. Uh, and so over the last year, I've spent a little bit of time really trying to uh, focus on lightening uh, my pack as much as I could. Uh, though I'm not really, I don't really consider myself an ultralight person. Uh, and so I haven't really gone into real deep portion on it. And I've tried to kind of keep some things on budget uh, a bit to some of it. So you'll see as we go kind of through some of the gear that I've got some name brand stuff uh, in order to get the ultralight. Uh, but then I've also got some off brand stuff that I carry as well. Um, so let's dive into it uh, and show you. So to start off with, uh, let's talk about my sleep system here. Um, so for me, I've got the Big Agnes Tiger Wall two-person backpacking tent. Um, and so it, I've got it separated out with the tent part and then the poles uh, and the stakes separately because just that's how I pack it uh, for myself. Um, so that's my tent that I have. I personally like to have a little bit of space uh, when I'm sleeping, even when I don't have uh, my dog with me. I, I like to have a two person, but especially with the fact that she's going to be with me. Uh, by the time I get my gear in there, myself in there, and then her in there, there's not a lot of extra room really to move around in. Uh, and then I have uh, the Nemo uh, Air Pad, uh, is my air pad that I have. I really love this thing. Uh, I'm a side sleeper. Uh, so I really like to have a good quality air pad. Uh, not only does it give you some extra uh, warmth and stuff uh, to insulate you from the coldness of the ground, especially up in, up in the Colorado Trail, uh, but it also uh, gives me about three inches of, of pad there to where when I'm turning around on my side, I don't ever feel myself hitting the ground. Um, this year, uh, I'm going, uh, taking a little chance here and I'm gonna use my quilt. I have a, a 30 degree uh, REI quilt here that I got from REI um, that is, I've tested it out on some of our, uh, through our shakedowns that we've done over the last couple months and I think I'm going to be alright on it. Uh, it's not normally, I have a zero degree mummy bag uh, that I used to use in the past but it's just so heavy. Um, and so this year I've decided that I'm going to do a mixture of uh, layering with some of my clothing systems uh, on some for some of the colder nights uh, and then the air pad to give some extra uh, insulation and stuff on the ground and I think I'm gonna be all right with the with the quilt but the, the quilt that I have is only a pound uh, versus you know if I was to take my uh, mummy bag my zero degree mummy bag that would be uh, closer to five or a little over five pounds so saving a good bit of weight by taking the quilt uh, maybe one day in the future I'll try to get myself closer to a 10 degree or uh, or a zero degree quilt to add to my repertoire. But for now, this is what I've got. Um, pillow system, so I'm a huge pillow guy. Um, you know, I've spent many years uh, backpacking and you know, I've tried everything. I, you know, I've gone from, you know, I've had memory foam pillows, I've carried my pillow from my bedroom, I, uh, you know, tried out, I started out for a long time having some of just the air pillows. Uh, and you know, I even tried to, you know, taking your clothes, you can also take your, and you take your clothes and stuff them in a stuff sack and try to use that. I tried to do all of those type of things. And most all of them I really just did not like. For the longest time, my favorite pillow um, was really this memory foam pillow that I found off of Amazon. Um, and it was just amazing. Uh, but it had a little bit of, because it was full on, it was all memory foam, it had a little bit of weight to it. So this year, one of the things when I was trying to just cut ounces here and there where I could, I decided to uh, utilize this uh, air pillow that I've had in the past um, that I really don't like by itself, um, but it's super lightweight. It only weighs like, I don't know, three ounces or so. 
Um, and then I, I decided to uh, purchase this uh, pillow as well. Um, and then add this because it's, it's pretty much lightweight. They've got some bigger versions of this as well. Um, but this here uh, gives me a little bit of that memory foam without having to necessarily have any of the, the major weight on it. So this is, I think, the smaller size um, of the pillows that they got. You can get them a little bigger, but I, I got the smaller one because I want to pair it with this. So for me, I wanted to have a little bit of height in, the, in my tent so that when I'm laying down, uh, I can do that. And so I intend to strap the two of these together uh, and utilize these for my pillow system. Uh, so that uh, is my pretty much most of my sleep system. The one thing additional that I've added in the last couple of years, of course, uh, living in Colorado and doing a lot of backpacking in the Colorado mountains uh, and they're in the Rocky Mountains, you know, we get a lot of afternoon thunderstorms and I just hate having to be rushed into my tent in the afternoons if there's a thunderstorm coming up or, you know, when we're on the trail having to, you know, hunker down and do some of the things. So for me, I, I just finally decided a couple years ago to break down and I bought myself an ultra light tarp. I mean, there's quite a few options that you can get for lightweight tarps uh, nowadays, but there's so many different uh, systems that they've got out there that you can get. But some of them will, will cost you a good bit of money. I got really lucky on this one. Um, REI doesn't make it anymore, but they, they've had this, uh, it was a, the Quarter Dome SL tarp. Uh, I managed to get it on one of the REI cells, so I got it up, you know, 25 or 30% off, I think, at one time. Uh, but it's super lightweight without the uh, stakes and other things, because I, I, I really only utilize it um, for emergencies, either, you know, if it's raining a lot, I might use it as an undercloth for my tent, um, or you know, in the case of needing to, you know, if we're on the trail and we get a bad storm that comes through and we need a shelter, I can yank it out or keep it kind of on the top of my bag. Um, we can just tie it up. I carry some lightweight string to tie it up to some trees and stuff to give us just a little bit of shelter. Or even at camp, like, you know, I've used this many times if we decide to stop early for camp um, and it looks like there's going to be thunderstorms to just kind of tie it up between some trees to give us a place to sit under uh, and be able to do stuff without having to just retreat to the tent whenever you get the storms that come in. So I've got this here for myself. Um, so now for food system and uh, water system, um, here, you know, we've got the MSR stove, uh, the pocket rocket, uh, and a couple of things of fuel. So it's, it's my son and I both go in, so he'll carry some of this and I'll carry some of it. Uh, we'll split some of the system up. But... Uh, normally, if it was just me, I would probably just be carrying my cup. Uh, it's my Tokes Titanium uh, 550 milliliter cup. Um, I'd probably just carry this because I can stick all of my stove system in it into the little baggie right there. Uh, and it all just really packs into a really light weight. This is like my favorite uh, cook system when it's just for myself. Um, because my son's going with me this time, I've, uh, I'm also going to bring in uh, the extra... Uh, titanium pot that I have here. This is a Sea to Summit Alpha pot. It's a 1.2 liter pot. Um, it's pretty lightweight as well, uh, but I'm just bringing this so that, you know, we don't have to necessarily both use the cup to boil our water for our meals at the end of the day. We can use uh, one pot to kind of get us both going. Um, I also, I make a lot of our own dehydrated meals um, with a mixture of buying some as well. Uh, so I just made this uh, little rehydration pack here um, that I carry with me. It's, it's super ultra light. I basically took a sun visor, cut it up, put some duct tape to it, put some Velcro on it, I stick some stickers on it and stuff like that. Um, but I'll take the meal, stick it in here, pour the boiling water into the, uh, the into the meal, whether that's freezer Ziploc bags because it's one of our own dehydrated meals or it's one of the uh, dehydrated bags. Um, even a lot of the uh, store-bought ones, a lot of times, I will take them out of the bag to save space um, and put them into a, a, a freezer bag. The freezer bags do really well as long as you buy the name brand bags um, and holding the boiling water uh, for that. So for me, that's kind of what I do. Um, but this will help keep it warm so that when you're rehydrating uh, for your 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what you're doing, um, your meal's not cold by the time you get ready to eat it. So super lightweight, but something I picked up from somebody else uh, on the internet and made. Um, and so for water systems, of course, I've got the two smart water bottles. 
Uh, you know, being a, an avid uh, scouter uh, myself, I used to be a big Nalgene guy, and I am still. When, whenever I go during the winter, I do always still carry a Nalgene, but there's definitely a difference in the weight on that. So if you're uh, somebody who likes the Nalgenes and stuff for that, definitely if you're, you know, when you're trying to make every ounce count on something like a through hike, carry the smart water bottles. Uh, that's your best way to do that. But I'll, I'll carry two liter bottles there uh, for the water system. One of the things that I, uh, I splurge a little bit on my weight, I don't necessarily uh, uh, cut back on. I started this uh, because I go out with our, my scout troop a lot uh, and take the, a lot of scouts out on trips. Uh, it was always just really beneficial for me to have a system that could filter water, a lot larger amounts of water quicker. Um, so I bought this uh, Platypus Gravity Feed uh, hydration or, uh, water filter system a while back, and I just really like this thing. Um, it comes with two bags. Um, it's got a, a dirty bag and a clean bag, and then the filter system and some hoses here that you have for it. Um, there's, of course, many of, uh, quite a few uh, more ultralight systems that I could use um, to be able to do this, but I just really like to know that... When I want to, you know, stop and get some water and fill some things up, especially because I hike with my dog a lot of times um, and other people and stuff, that this thing just works amazing. I can filter four liters of water in like a minute or two, uh, depending on how clean the filter is. Um, the filter too, you know, as it gets a little clogged up sometimes, you know, you can just back wash out the filter by swapping the bags and swapping the directions of the filter and help push out some of the dirt from the filter. But this thing lasts a long time. Uh, and it's just done really an amazing job to me. So, yes, it weighs a little bit more uh, than if I was to carry, like, say, the Sawyer Squeeze or something to that nature, uh, which is also, a, you know, a great filter system, too. Uh, but, like I said, it's, it's faster. I don't like waiting for the water to go. So that's my own personal choice, uh, one of the things that I do for, for weight. Um, so let's talk clothes now. Um, so I kind of have pared this down to what I consider to be uh, the minimum, uh, but it's a good layering system that I use. Um, so of course, you know, for the colder weather type stuff, um, I've got a really ultra light fleece. Uh, it's a Patagonia fleece that I uh, bought a while back. I've had some of these for many, many years. Um, so love this thing. Um, for most of your typical, just kind of, there's a chill in the air when you get to camp. That's perfect for me to toss on uh, when I get to camp and I'm sitting around. For the colder mornings or the colder nights, um, if I need to, I've got my light North Face puff, puff, Puffy uh, jacket that I have. Um, love that thing. I've had that thing for 10 years or better. Um, it's still just been a great, great jacket. Um, if I need to, I can pair the two and really kind of get myself pretty warm. Um, to include with that, I've just got a hat that I'll take and some gloves. Um, who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and not have to use them and I can send them back in a resupply box, but I don't like being cold, so uh, I want to make sure to have what we have. Um, I'm a boots guy. Uh, I know there's a, you know all kinds of different folks and go between whether you're a trail runner or boots, um, but for me, I have a weaker ankles a lot of times, and so it just I like having the extra support of having boots, um, but get some good boots. And make sure that, you know, when you get out on the trail, it's not the first time uh, that you do it. I'm a big fan of the Obos uh, boots. These things have just been amazing for me. Um, I don't know that I'll own another brand as long as they keep making them as well as this pair that I have here on that. Um, I also, so I carry, um, I typically will wear some of this, uh, and some of this will get packed in. But I always, I'll have at least one pair of pants that I have. Um, so these are some Pranas pants that I just love. They're pretty lightweight, uh, but I just enjoyed using them out on the trail. And then I've got another pair of just uh, hiking shorts that I have. Uh, so if I need to get into that uh, and, and want to you know, get into the warmer temperature areas and want to wear shorts, I can wear the shorts. Um, I always carry at least two. Like I said, one of these I'll be wearing uh, on the trip and one I'm going to get packed. So I'll carry a lightweight uh, kind of microfiber shirt. Uh, you definitely want moisture wicking, you know, when you're looking at shirts. Um, I also carry this kind of sun, sun hoodie um, that I have, um, long sleeve here as well. Uh, just an amazing thing. I end up wearing this a lot more. I don't really care to wear sunscreen 
uh, that much. Uh, and so if I'm in uh, some of the more exposed areas, uh, I'll wear the longer sleeve uh, for that, or if it's a chilly morning or something to that nature as well. Um, I also carry a microfiber tile towel. Um, so just kind of a small ultralight towel that I have here. Uh, socks, darn tough. I mean, what do you say? I love darn tough socks. Not only do they have an amazing warranty, if I ever get a hole, I can take them back in and get them replaced. Um, but they're just awesome. I mean, they're one of the socks that definitely you want to take care of your feet when you're out on the trail uh, and having really good quality socks is a really important thing. So make sure you get some good socks. Um, I'm still going back and forth on whether or not I want to carry two extra pairs. One of these pair I'll wear, of course. Um, I'm playing around with just having uh, one extra pair on that, but we'll see what happens when I decide to get ready to pack. Um, I do carry just because of... I. I decided to add these to my collection um, this year just because uh, because I'm tearing the quilt. Uh, I wanted to have an extra warmer layer um, for my legs just in case um, I get cold. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to test out and see whether or not it may, and this may be something that makes it back in the first resupply box uh, we got, but I got a pair of Under Armour uh, leggings that I'll uh, potentially have for if I get into some of the higher altitudes and we get those cold mornings and you know or cold nights and I need to pair it up with my sleep system. Um, so those are those. And then uh, boxers, boxer briefs, I, I carry. I'll have a couple pair of those as well. Another one of those things, I, you know, I just spent the money, got some really nice quality uh, Patagonia and REI uh, brands that I've bought over the years that just are amazing. Uh, and then comfortable as well as being out on the trail. Um, for clothing system, I get, oh, the other thing I have here too is my uh, rain system. Uh, so I uh, got this ultralight uh, jacket and pants that I found on Amazon. Uh, you can see the link in the descriptions down when I'll give you a link of all of the things that I've got here on where I found everything. Um, but I mean, you could easily do, uh, I think my son's got the frog togs. You know, those are probably a smidge lighter um, they typically don't last as long and wear as well, but these, uh, I like, and so I just have, I carry the pants and the jacket just cause you know what, especially this year, we've been getting a lot of, a lot of rain in the afternoons and moisture and stuff. So, um, I'm choosing to take them both. Uh, we'll see whether or not one of them gets sent back in a, in a resupply box, uh, later on. Uh, and I also decided this year, this is new for me, but this is, uh, one of the ultra light, uh, umbrellas um, that they've got out on the market. Uh, this is a Gossamer gear one. Uh, I just decided this year, uh, you know, so many people online when they talk through hiking, they talk about how important it is to, you know, just to have an umbrella. Uh, so I decided to splurge and, uh, and got that this year. I haven't even, I haven't used it on the trail yet. This will be my first time using it, uh, but I'll utilize it for, you know, if we get some bad storms, um, you know, or if it's say it socks in and starts to rain all day, um, or even for some, some sun protection if need be. Um, and then some of our extras. So let me go to my uh, our, uh, my electronics next. Um, so for electronics, I carry uh, this a battery bank here. Um, this here is the Nightcore uh, NB twenty thousand. Um, I plan to do, a, you know, get a bit of recording uh, on the trail uh, and uh, have a couple different electronic things. I'm also going to take my Kindle. I like to read a little bit uh, at the end of the day uh, on a couple books. So I've got the bigger one. You could actually carry the, the 10,000 if you wanted to uh, and probably get away with that um, for it. But I just went a little with the bigger size. Uh, for myself, my son's carrying the 10,000, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, how long his lasts versus how long mine lasts uh, for that. I'm also trying out this year um, this little bitty solar panel uh, that I found on Amazon. Uh, I really don't know how it's going to work. Uh, from my experience, I've not had a lot of good experience in the past you learn solar systems. I bought a couple battery bank systems that had solar panels uh, built into them in the past and just didn't really like them that much here in Colorado. but. Uh, I've had some good reviews uh, from some other through hikers about uh, this. It's a cheapo that I got on Amazon. I don't even remember the brand. I'll have to uh, put it in the link below uh, to let you know. But it's just basically uh, a little bitty uh, 10 milliamp one that I've got that I'm going to test out for this through hike.
Um, also got our uh, Thor here, who's our other dog that we have here, who of course decided to, to join the, the video. Um, for electronics, I also have my uh, Garmin InReach Mini. Uh, I utilize this on all my backpacking trips. I, I just love to have the peace of mind uh, to know, especially when I'm out with scouting troops uh, and other things on that. I love to be able to know that if I had to, I could reach out and touch the SOS uh, button on this and get emergency services uh, as soon as possible uh, for that. This particularly for the through hike, I've upped the plan to the uh, unlimited plan so that my wife and I can stay in contact pretty often. Uh, and so I can be contacting friends and other folks that are going to help me with some resupplies and just be able to stay in contact and not have to worry about uh, whether or not we have service out on the trail or not. Um, I also, another one of my little splurging things, uh, I decided a couple years ago, I, I, I kept seeing these on some of the other uh, blogger sites and stuff, but uh, this is just a Flextail air pump. Uh, surprisingly enough, I don't remember the weight on it. I'll put it down in the links uh, below, but uh, it's super lightweight. And uh, not only is it an air pump, uh, but it's also a light and can be used as a lantern uh, as well. Um, you know, when I really started looking at cutting ounces and stuff, you know, this thing only weighs like a few ounces more than my uh, roll sack that I would normally use uh, to blow up the, the Nemo air pad. And so I just said, what the heck? I kind of like it. It's fun to have. Um, we'll see how it works on my on my through hike. Um, last on my electronics here. Oh uh, well, I've got my I got my little bag here of all my uh, different parts and stuff that I have as well. These are just uh, connection cords. You know, I bought a little bitty, a lot of small ones that I could have for to be able to charge the different things that I have. I also have a lot of adapters. Um, that will help me, you know, be able to plug into different things so I don't have to carry full on cords for stuff. I also have a pair of, uh, you know, headphones. I don't carry wireless headphones because I really don't listen to a ton, especially knowing that my son's going to be with me. Um, we'll be probably talking more than anything. So I just kind of threw these in in case I decide I want something or, you know, we're doing something and then I got a, a bank here to be able to charge everything there with. So all of that goes in there. And then the last thing here on my electronics is our my headlamp. Um, I really don't use the headlamp a lot, but there are times where uh, I do utilize it. Um, one of the other electronic items too, now that I think about it, that I, I do utilize a lot, that was my watch, which is the Garmin Phoenix uh, 7X. Uh, yeah, it's just the 7X. I don't think it's a pro or anything to that nature. Um, love this thing. I utilize it to uh, record our daily movements and hikes. Um, I also pair that uh, when we talk about um, electronics. I have my uh, iPhone. I have the I upgraded to the newer iPhone 14 uh, just for this trip, just so I wanted to be able to get a better quality and uh, have a little bit more storage on it to be able to do because I'm going to do all my recording and stuff on it, which is what I'm recording on right now as well. Uh, but I also utilize the Far Out app, which I would highly recommend if you're going to do the Colorado Trail. It's amazing. Not only can you download and purchase the full app system to be able to utilize offline, uh, but it's also got like all kinds of water uh, marks uh, on it, waypoints way on it, and camping waypoints. Uh, and you can also, people can leave uh, comments on there. And so there's a lot of comments about where some good uh, camping is uh, along the way and stuff too as well. So definitely would recommend uh, checking that out um, as well. Uh, outside of that, I think let's get into just some accessories that you see here. Uh, thrown out in the thing too as well. So I've got my uh, poop system. I've got some toilet paper, some Purell hand sanitizer, and my trowel. Super just ultra light. The Deuce of Spades trowel uh, that I have here um, that we utilize for that. Uh, I've got some of my dog stuff here. So as I mentioned, Willa's going with us for the first week. Uh, so she carries a little bit her own weight. So I've got a awesome uh, Mountain Smith backpack here that's new for her. Uh, she had a different backpack um, a while back that we used to use. Uh, it was an older version of the Mountain Smith version, um, and it uh, started to finally rip and tear in some areas. She put a lot of miles on that one as we were training her to get her ready to, to be trail ready. And so this year I upgraded her and got her a newer pack here. Um, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. You know, there's a lot of things there in it that I won't pull out. Um, she carries a lot of her own food, 
uh, that I have here. She'll carry a couple ultralight water and uh, food bowls for herself. Um, I do carry, uh, she's got four of the booties and socks in there. And the reason why I do that is, you know, here in the Rocky Mountains, we get um, a lot of different uh, areas where the rocks get into stuff. Uh, and so I have these in case just to protect her feet. Uh, and then socks, I use for her more than anything to pair with the shoes, but also um, I do these uh, when she goes in the tent at night because I don't want her popping my air pad. Uh, she also carries her own little platypus water filter here that we have. Uh, and those, all those things will go here in her pack. Uh, a couple other accessory items that I have here is uh, my own first aid kit. So I, I built this out myself. Um, you know, there'll be some other videos and stuff that you can see on what's all in that. But basically there's just a lot of um, different things. I've got everything from some Aleve to some uh, burn creams, wraps, uh, things for tent repair kits, uh, and other things and stuff in there as well. Uh, I also am carrying uh, some powder soap uh, to be able to do laundry and wash myself. Toothpaste, toothbrush, a little bit extra rope, as I mentioned before. Um, and then I also am carrying, this is my little accessory pack. Um, my accessory pack's got a lot of different things in it here. Uh, I carry some bandage stuff for it. I got a little notepad, a, a pen, a comb, as you see, I gotta make sure to take care of my hair, an extra thick lighter, um, some, there's some uh, bug spray, I got a bug net, I even got a little thing of playing cards, um, a little pen, worst case scenario, if I need to throw a bear line, I got a little bear line back here, uh, some zip ties, some safety pins, just a couple you know, minor emergency kind of things that we have here, oh, even a compass. Uh, even though I utilize a lot of digital forms of, uh, of working on the system, I always carry a compass with me because you never know. Uh, and carrying some map systems and stuff too as well. Um, additionally here, so you see here I got my chair. Uh, I actually am not taking my chair uh, this time. Uh, I've decided not to take it, uh, but instead I'm just going to take a little sit pad that I have here uh, to be able to utilize for that. Uh, my backpack here that I have is the, the Gregory uh, backpack that I have. I've had this thing for many years. I love it. I know there's other ultralight versions so that I could, you know, shed a couple pounds probably on that, but I just love this thing, and especially when I'm out with scouts and other things and stuff too. I end up carrying some heavier loads sometimes when I carry a little bit more stuff, so I just like that pack. Uh, hiking, trekking poles I have. I've also got the Eurosac. This is what I'm carrying all of my food in. Uh, right now I've got about six days worth of food in there uh, to carry that. My son's taking uh, the bear box here with his food in it. So he'll have that one in his pack, uh, for that. But I think that's pretty much everything that we have. Um, all in all, I think I haven't, I haven't put it all and weighed it up. I know when I did, the, uh, I did a, uh, backpacking trip uh, a couple weeks ago with stuff. I had about three pounds of food in it and I was down to a total pack weight of about 33 pounds. Uh, so I think I've gotten down to a good bit of total pack. I'm not really certain what my base weight is, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm expecting that with six days worth of food, which is the most I think we'll be carrying it at one time, I should be somewhere around 37, 38 pounds, I think, total for my pack weight. So looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great trip uh, and just really looking forward to having a blast and getting out on the trail. So hope this was very helpful for everybody. Hope that uh, this helps you if you're starting to look to, to get out on your trail. Uh, it's back for yourself and like I said feel free to look down in the comments for uh, a list of all of the stuff that I've mentioned here and the things for it. Outside of that everybody happy trails and hope to see you guys out on the trail.